What's up, smarty people? It's KeysDanRadioWhat.com, DJLittleRock.com, Keys Dan Show with some news, some terrible news. Four dead in shooting at Georgia High School, 14-year-old suspect in custody, officials say. Home of the Wildcats. I was a Western Wildcat in Fort Lauderdale. This one's hitting me in the feels, man. Four people were killed in a shooting at Appalachie High School in Winder, Georgia, Wednesday morning, according to the Georgia Bureau of Investigation. Another nine victims were taken to hospitals with injuries, the GBI said. The suspect is alive and in custody, the GBI said. The suspect is a 14-year-old student at Appalachie High School. Multiple law enforcement sources confirmed. Senior Sergio Caldera, 17, said he was in chemistry class when he heard gunshots. My teacher goes and opens the door to see what's going on. Another teacher comes running in and tells her to close the door because there's an active shooter, Caldera told news sources. He said his teacher locked the door and the students ran to the back of the room. Caldera said they heard screams from outside as they huddled up. At some point, Caldera said someone pounded on his classroom door and shouted, open up multiple times when the knocking stopped caldera said he heard more gunshots and screams he said his class later evacuated to the football field kyson stanson said he was in class when he heard the gunshots and heard police scream telling somebody there's a shooting going on get down get back in the classroom he's quoted as saying i was scared because i've never been in a school shooting everybody was crying My teacher tried to keep everybody safe, he added. Dad Jonathan Mills said he'd experienced an emotional roller coaster as he and his wife rushed to the school and waited to get a hold of their son, Jaden. It was exhilarating and overwhelming to reach Jaden, a junior, and learn he was okay, Mills told the news. Mills, a police officer, said, Growing up in this area, you don't expect things like that to happen. I have three children. All of them go to this cluster of schools, and you never think about that, he said. Appalachie High School was cleared for dismissal, and all other Barrow County schools were placed on a soft lockdown, the Barrow County School District said. The Barrow County Sheriff's Office says this is for the safety of everyone right now. Please do not visit your child's school at this time. We cannot release students during a lockdown, the school's district said in a statement. Winder's about 45 miles outside of Atlanta. President Joe Biden and Vice President Kamala Harris were briefed on the shooting, according to the White House. Quote, Jill and I are mourning the deaths of those whose lives were cut short due to more senseless gun violence and thinking of all the survivors whose lives are forever changed. Biden said in a statement, continuing, students across the country are learning how to duck and cover instead of how to read and write. We cannot continue to accept this as normal, end quote. The president highlighted his work to combat gun violence, including signing the Bipartisan Safer Communities Act into law launching the first White House Office of Gun Violence Prevention. But he stressed that more must be done. And he gets political here. Quote, after decades of inaction, Republicans in Congress must finally say enough is enough and work with Democrats to pass common sense gun safety legislation. Biden continues, we must ban assault weapons and high capacity magazines once again, require safe storage of firearms, enact universal background checks, and end immunity for gun manufacturers. These measures will not bring those who were tragically killed today back, but it will help prevent more tragic gun violence from ripping more families apart, end quote. Harris said at a campaign event in New Hampshire, and you've heard this one many times before, Our hearts are with all the students, the teachers, and their families. This is just a senseless tragedy on top of so many senseless tragedies, she said. We have to end this epidemic of gun violence. This is one of the many issues that's at stake this election, Harris said. Let us finally pass an assault weapons ban and universal background checks and red flag laws, she said. It is a false choice to say you are either in favor of the Second Amendment or 
you want to take everyone's guns away. I'm in favor of the Second Amendment, and I know we need reasonable gun safety laws in our country. End quote. Georgia Governor Brian Kemp said he's heartbroken. Quote, this is a day every parent dreads and Georgians everywhere will hug their children tighter this evening because of this painful event. Continuing, we continue to work closely with local, state, and federal partners to make any and all resources available to help this community on this incredibly difficult day and in the days to come, end quote. In Atlanta, authorities will bolster patrols around schools on Wednesday out of an abundance of caution, Atlanta Mayor Andre Dickens said in a statement. My prayers are with the high school students, staff, and families affected by the senseless act of violence. Dickens said. That's what I have for now. Tragedy. I hate it. 14-year-old kid. How do you keep a gun out of a 14-year-old kid's hands? He didn't buy that gun on his own. Where did he get it? You know the parents and the family are going to be in trouble for this, or questioned at least. Stick around for more. It's Keys Dan, RadioWhat.com, DJLittleRock.com, Keys Dan Show. Peace. I'm out of here.